kidding? Okay, never mind. I was talking shit for no reason. Means you never know what you're gonna be feeling. Oh, so exciting. I hate this so much. Okay, I don't even know how to like talk to you guys right now. Okay, what's up? How's it going? I have really exciting news to share. I got a audition request from Actors Access. I was literally talking to someone today. I was like, you know what? I'm so bummed because I haven't been getting submission requests for any auditions. I've been applying on Actors Access and I just haven't been getting submission requests. And then literally 30 minutes before I had that conversation, I already had an email in my inbox. So, which I'm so grateful about. This is for a... I guess it's kind of like a little mini series and I submitted it on the 19th, so four days ago. Currently it's January 23rd, so I don't know when I'm going to post this, but it has around five pages of sides, so five pages of dialogue, and it's between me and my best friend in the scene, and I'm pretty excited about it because it's actually asking for a lot. It asks for a self-tape, obviously, with all the sides, a separate video introducing yourself and talking a little bit about you, if you have a demo reel, which I do, and also a singing video, which... If you guys know me by now, I am tone deaf. I am so tone deaf. But there was a little note here that says, even if you don't normally sing, we just want to see you having fun and letting loose. I can't sing seriously for the life of me, so I don't mind that. So yeah, that's around like four things I have to submit. And I actually need a reader. Like, that's crazy. I did not need a reader last time. This is like a legit thing. Like, I'm looking at a legit script which is crazy yeah can you tell i'm excited i don't know if i don't know i don't know if i'm portraying it well so yeah i'm literally just going through it a million quadrillion times is that even a word don't know but yeah i just wanted to give you guys that quick update i will check in with you guys whenever we start this journey Okay, update. Um, I'm way too tall for my stand, so that's kind of irritating. <laughs> so we are gonna dismantle it again and return it. I am gonna keep the backdrop though, and I'm going to actually tape it to my wall somehow. We'll figure that out. I just have to figure out how to de-wrinkle it. Yeah, it's not looking cute. I'm glad that I'm doing this a couple of days before actually shooting because if I had to deal with this the day of shooting, I would have probably gone insane. So. Okay, so... It is the 26th of January and I was getting ready to film the audition and I completely forgot that I was filming this video, so hi. I look like a mess. It's been a very rough morning. I'm not feeling my best and what I'm filming today involves a lot of high energy and excitement and it's just not what I feel at the moment, so I'm kind of just... At the same time, trying to feel better and take my time, but also rush because I only have a couple hours before my family comes home and then I can't film what I want to film because I have to be loud and I don't want to disturb anyone. Sorry my energy is so low. Um, like I said, rough morning. I did end up putting up the blue backdrop. <laughs> I taped it to my wall in my basement. Honestly, it's the best it's gonna get. You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. I'm just gonna finish off my makeup, try to look as identical to my headshots as possible, and we're gonna go from there. I really don't feel like doing this right now, but it's not so much I don't want to do the audition because I'm not interested in it. I just feel very low, and I find that a lot of that is gonna happen in this industry. I'm a, I'm not gonna always be happy when I'm supposed to do an audition, but that doesn't take away from the fact that I have to do it. And I guess this is good experience and good practice for when even bigger auditions come down the line. You have to be ready whenever it comes through because it does come through at random times. <sighs> Which means you never know what you're going to be feeling or how your day is going to go when that happens, like today, where I'm just not having a good day. 
I'm trying to force myself to understand that mentality, which is really hard. Especially for someone who's so emotional like me. It's very hard to separate, but at the end of the day, this is a business, this is a professional industry, and I have to be professional. What's gonna happen when I'm on set and I'm having a bad day, I'm just not gonna show up to set, like that's not how it works. Anyway, other than the sadness, <laughs> what I'm filming today is my slate shot and also the clip of me having to sing. Originally, I was gonna do Flowers by Miley Cyrus because first of all, a bop. Second of all, I've been listening to it non-stop. It literally got seven million hits in one day and probably half of that was me when I'm in the shower alone. But then I realized that everyone and their freaking mothers are gonna use that song for this audition and I don't want casting to hear it for the millionth time and just not even continue watching my audition because of it, because it does happen. I decided that I'm gonna go with a throwback song. So I chose Operator by Shiloh. It's a very uplifting, a very energetic song, and it kind of fits the vibe of this character because they are very outgoing and they're very sure of themselves. Wow, I'm so blind, I can't even see. I'm supposed to look like a 14 or 15 year old girl. It's so funny to portray yourself way younger than you actually are. I have to like think back at my 14 year old self and like what I would wear. Now I'm just gonna go downstairs, I'm gonna listen to some music, try to get myself in the energy that I'm supposed to be in, and I'll shoot the clip a couple times just to get a feel of it to be comfortable in front of the camera, and I will check in in a bit. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> All right, round two. <sighs> and this is why I need a stand. <laughs> this is not gonna last very long, but it looks pretty good. I say that as I hear the tape ripping apart. Okay, I'm just gonna, s <laughs> I'm gonna add more tape and then I'll check in in a bit. <laughs> it's a little wobbly here. The problem is I can't straighten this out anymore. Um, this is like a weird, this is where the stairs start. So it's like a weird thing. Um, I'm gonna try my best to stand in front of it and make it look fine. Honestly, I'm so stressed out because I have literally an hour to film this and it's just not going well with me. I also wanted to have these overhead lights on, but this one shines right on my head and it looks disgusting. Actually, I'll show you. <gasps> Wait, it's actually not that bad. Okay, never mind. I was talking shit for no reason. Okay, we're just gonna, we're just gonna shoot this. Those are about it. I'm already tired. Can you see my eyes? Like, I'm just dancing. It's been a long day. This is way harder than I thought it would be. Just dancing like a complete lunatic and making it look good. I guess that's my issue is I'm trying to make it look good when it should just be natural. It just feels very weird. I'm gonna film a couple more takes of this song and then I'm going to do my slate shot and then call it a day for today. Okay guys, so it's 9 p.m. now, so it's been a few hours later and I am just finishing up some last minute things before I do my audition for tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm picking up my friend who's going to be my reader and we're going to do all of the three scenes in the morning. So I'm just reading over my script and all that kind of stuff but I wanted to show you exactly how I went about doing it because I obviously don't have a reader currently and I have to memorize the lines. So what I did was I opened up voice memos on my phone and I read the script with both lines. So I read my line and my friend's lines. I then imported it into iMovie and muted the parts where I speak. I'll show you. So this is the timeline on my iMovie. As you can see, 
the scene is the entrance, so that's my friend speaking, and this would be where I would reply, that's my friend speaking, that's where I would reply, and so forth. So this got me to memorize faster than I actually thought it would. I memorized all three scenes in under an hour because of it, and honestly that says a lot for me because I have terrible memory, like terrible memory, but this really worked. So if you're ever worried about, you know, if you have a short deadline or whatever, try it out and it might help you. At the moment, I'm actually going to watch a movie that was recommended by the casting director. I'm not sure if I mentioned it before, but in my script it did mention two movies where it was pretty much explaining how they wanted the scene to go. So I saw one scene on YouTube and the movie of the second one is actually on Netflix. So it's about less than two hours. I'm about to watch it. I've watched a couple videos on YouTube and I've gotten the gist of the type of relationship dynamic that the casting wants, but I feel by watching the full movie is going to get me even more in that mentality and it's going to be way better. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to really dive into this and analyze the dynamic between the two lead characters. I will check in with you guys tomorrow when I'm filming my scenes. It was so exciting. Okay, bye. All right guys, so it is day two of filming my audition. It's currently Friday and it's 11.30 a.m. I just did my makeup and the little pigtail action. I decided to go with this hairstyle to make myself seem a little bit young, but now that I see it, you can't really see unless I'm like turned this way, so I'm gonna make sure I fix that a little bit. I'm gonna give you guys a couple updates today. So the plan is to film all three scenes of the actual audition, and originally my friend was supposed to come, but life happens, things change, and unfortunately she won't be coming today, and I need to shoot today. Today is pretty much the only day I have to shoot this, so the substitute reader is my sister which it's gonna be fun we were just rehearsing just now and if anyone has a sibling you know how hard it is to be serious and oh my god it's it's gonna be hard I already know but short notice she was home and I need to get this out so that's what we're gonna do I'm really excited I feel good about it everything's memorized I have no doubt about it I'm just gonna go change into the first outfit and then we're gonna get started okay so hello welcome to acting with Kayla starring your host Kathleen my sister wanted to say hi because she is jealous of my YouTube channel I literally don't care <laughs> We've been rehearsing this whole time and it's been horrendous. It's been perfect. Okay, take one. Oh, wait, I'm not ready. You gotta wait. Okay, let me just check my eye line. Hold yeah, on. Yeah, look at your eyes. Action. Kathleen! God, I was trying to get to the scene and you freaking just yell, action! I hate this so much. It's just so funny I have to look this way, but you're here, face to the back. Watch this. We watched way- <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Kathleen. I'm so sorry. You have the script <laughs> in your hands. Kathleen, hold on. <laughs> We're not fake walking, Kathleen. Walking through the hall, oh yeah. <laughs> Original thought. That was terrible. This was such a terrible scene. Never mind. <sighs> no. We're not doing that, Kathleen. <laughs> Because I can't say my line the way it's supposed to be calmly if you're crazy! I really like the dog. <laughs> Why are you laughing already? <laughs> we were good. We were doing so well. This is literally the last scene. Are you kidding? This is the last scene. I'm sorry. I was thinking about myself being crazy. Basically. <laughs> you have the script in your hand. I'm not good. <laughs> okay, guys, so I think that's it. Uh, just Kathleen, don't you want to end the vlog? <laughs> oh, hey. Hey. <laughs> oh, done. Oh, my God. We did it. We did it, bro. This is my first legit actual script, actual series audition and there was some bumps along the road but nothing too bad. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna watch some stuff that I want to watch, YouTube, Netflix, all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna eat, I'm just gonna relax, and I'm going to forget everything about it. Thank you so much, I hope you enjoy this video and I guess I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.